Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. Oh, what an exciting day today. Today is lunch, laugh, and craft. So there's lots of action here as I pack up and get ready for that. But I will not miss dropping in to do my weekly live. Welcome, welcome. My name is Genevieve Co. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator uh, here in Markham, Ontario, Canada. But I love to share stamping with anyone across the country, across the world. Um, and Tuesday mornings at around 9 a.m. Eastern, I like to hop on and share what's going on in my happy crafting world, share what's going on with Stampin' Up! and of course, stamp a project. So make sure to stick around and enjoy what I'm going to stamp, but you're not going to want to miss the announcements. So this week, there is a lot going on. Oh my goodness. So uh, what? where should we start? Okay. Thank you to all of you who have um, RSVP'd uh, for my customer appreciation event on December 30th. It is in person in Markham. So if you're at all able to drive into Markham, I've rented the church hall and I am going to um, have my buy one, get one sale out. I'm going to have stamping projects all from the new catalog. I'm going to have um, gifts. I'm going to have snacks. I'm going to have prizes. And so it's really a sort of like a kickoff to the new catalog, but at the same time, a way for me to just thank those of you who have supported me this last year. Uh, as some of you know, running a small business is not easy. And uh, since I've been working full time, it's super not easy, uh, but I love it too much to give it up. And so I'm grateful to anybody who supported me through shopping this past year. You are absolutely welcome to come to the event free. If you uh, have not RSVP'd but want to come, please do so. You can just do it through the link tree uh, link slash Stampin' for Fun link. You can also, if you haven't shopped with me and you think you can't come, that's not true. You can come. There's just a cost for you. It's $20. Okay, so that just helps uh, cover um, some of the cost with renting the hall and all of that good stuff that comes with that comes with uh, running an event. So, um, but of course, if you order at the event, I'll I'll return your twenty dollars. I really appreciate the orders and I appreciate the support. And most of all, I just want to um, kind of just do something a little fun. It's been actually a tra uh, tradition for many, many years that between Christmas and New Year, somewhere around there, I do just a fun appreciation event. So I hope you can come out. Uh, make sure to register because that's how I know how many make and takes to cut and I wouldn't want to not have stamping for you. Uh, other news on the street is um, I plan to update my registration link for uh, upcoming classes. So end of January, the last Friday in January, I am doing a virtual games night. Uh, it's um, bring in the new year bingo, um, or maybe I called it beat the blues bingo. Anyway, Typically around this time of year, I like to do just a fun, casual stamping time. It is virtual, so anybody in the country can join in. And uh, the cost is $45 plus shipping if you need shipping. And what do we do? We make cards. It's a card making class, of course. But for fun prizes, we also play some rounds of bingo. So it just means you can invite anyone you want to join in because everybody has fun with bingo. And uh, what I've been doing for the past while is that the prizes are gift certificates. So you can use your gift certificates for whatever you want. It's a perfect time to shop from the new catalog. And uh, uh, we always have fun. So we run it over Zoom last Friday in January. So you're going to want to make sure because you can only win the prizes if you're there at the class. But the make and takes you can do anytime. You will get uh, the video replay so that you can... Um, um, make the cards at your leisure. Okay, so that is uh, one class. And I hope I plan to add to the link as well. You may as well start talking about February classes. Jennifer Cotton and I are pairing up to do a um, uh, stamp camp. We'll be uh, showcasing new product, 10 different cards. You can add on optional classes. 
it is perfect for anybody who loves stamping, but just needs, well, not needs, but loves having the packets made up in the little envelopes and the inspiration that Jennifer and I give. And uh, there's an exclusive Facebook group for connection and community and extra prizes as well. So uh, we've done this stamp camp several times in the past. Every time there's a new catalog, we tend to do one because we're so excited and we want to share with you. So you're going to want to register for that. The earlier you register, the better. It just helps us organize ourselves. Um, and then last but not least, speaking of Jennifer Cotton and I, we are pairing up to do a, um, this is just for Stampin' Up! demonstrators, uh, kind of like a get ready for celebration training, which is happening this week. So the make and take packets are sold out. We're not doing any more of those, but uh, I can still sell just the virtual training and tutorials. So um, there's a separate link for that, which you'll find in the description. So that's all the news in the Stampin' for Fun world. Uh, you can see that even though um, I'm sure all of us are really busy this season, but I make it a priority to keep you inspired and keep offering some fun things because we all need to take a little break for ourselves. We all need to do a little stamping. We all need to bless others with our handmade creations. So that's why I've made it a priority to still offer them to you. So I hope you can join in. I hope you can play stamping with me. I hope you will be inspired all new things in the catalog. Um, if you ordered a catalog, um, they are in production this week to get in the mail. The new catalog doesn't go live. The spring catalog doesn't go live till January the 4th. So hopefully I'll get those out um, even during the busy holidays. And um, of course, you'll be able to pick one up if you come to my appreciation event. Okay, so that's that. Um, big news in the Stampin' Up! world is that they have announced free shipping and they've actually given us a few days warning, which is super kind of them. So um, start studying. It's too, I would say it's generally too late to um, get things in time for Christmas. I mean, you might be lucky, you might get it in time for Christmas, but I guess that's why they're doing a free shipping now. Uh, it's not now, it's not today. It's on the 14th of December. So it gives you time to figure out uh, whether you need to stock up on things, whether there's some last chance items. We still have last chance items that are um, available. So what are the last chance items? Let me tell you. I'll see if I can do a screen share, but basically because we're welcoming a new catalog, uh, spring catalog, mini catalog in January, we need to say farewell to some of the holiday catalog products. So holiday catalog, okay. And then what you're gonna do, my name is here. So under find a demonstrator, make sure my name is here because you are not gonna want to miss out on the special perks that I offer those of you who shop online. If you shop online with me and your order is at least $60 or more, you will get a free class in the mail. So thank you to those of you who shop in November, shopped online, your order was at least $60. I send you a um, card packet. And it's actually all the cards that I'm doing this month in my uh, Tuesday morning live video. So uh, they're all packed. They just need to kind of go to the post office. So you can watch for those. But if you are shopping this month, you choose to take advantage, you'll get the cards that I'll be uh, stamping next month. So it's a standing offer I have. It's just my way of saying thank you for your support. And so right here, you can just click specials click last chance products and you'll see the things that are last chance. If they are discounted, you will see a sale price next to it. Okay, so this is a marvelous way to take advantage of the free shipping offer coming up on the 14th. Um, of course, we don't know. I mean, things are going to go fast. Uh, things on the last chance list are while supplies last. Um, so just know that actually the best shipping is when you can get what you want. So even if you choose not to wait for free shipping, uh, shop now, make sure you get what you want and stamp it up. We'll probably get it out the door a little faster than usual um, because they won't be inundated with all the orders that they'll get on free shipping day. So, um, but if you are shopping on free shipping day, it's practically like saving the tax. It's amazing. Um, 
I think it's free shipping on orders a hundred dollars or more. So you do have to kind of check um, all the details there when it goes live. But uh, there was something I wanted to say. Just be aware that uh, Stampin' Up! has their little elves. There are people working in the warehouse packing as quickly as they can, but it may take a while because free shipping is always like a big deal. So uh, they may be getting a lot more orders than they can kind of fill in one day. So it may take a little while. Not comments if you have any questions. Uh, and as I said, if you do decide to shop in December, make sure to use this host code because that will um, make sure to use the host code for December because that will guarantee that you'll get the um, free gift from me in January. Now, uh, if your order is $200 or more, don't use the host code because Stampin' Up! gives you free Stampin' Rewards, which you can claim, which is basically free product. I'll still send you the class in the mail, um, but I just don't want you to miss out on the free products. Oh, and I hope those most of you know, but I also have a loyalty card program. So yes, you can combine. Make sure to uh, download your loyalty card. Um, you can just download it at uh, stampinforfun.ca. That's kind of my blog. And there is a tab there that says, um, oh, my Stampin' for Fun is not working. I don't know why. Oh, maybe I didn't pay my bills. Okay, let's see what we'll go to Jenna. Uh, hmm, I think it's, uh, hmm, let's try. I haven't used this other one. Stampin', Stampin'. Um, for fun.ca, is it working? Oh yeah, it's working now. I don't know what happened. Maybe I typed something wrong. Okay, let me screen share it for you so that you can see where you download your loyalty card, okay? So for those of you who uh, shop regularly, um, you may as well collect loyalty points. So right here, we have a loyalty program. So this is my blog, stampinforfun.ca. You head to the loyalty program. And right there, um, I have a little document that you can just click and download. So if you keep track of your orders, you collect tokens for every $60 order. And when you have um, a certain number of tokens, I think it's uh, 10 tokens, um, you can qualify for a $30 shopping spree. Okay. So make sure you download that. It's not something I keep track of, but when you've filled it out, you can just send it to me and I order the goodies for you. Okay. So that is how that works. Okay. So let's do some stamping. Who remembers our product of the month? Let's see. You can go ahead and comment. Okay, I just want to make my page a little bigger. It is the Simply Sparkling Bundle. So do you guys remember what we made last week? It was this cute Fresh Freesia card using the Eclectic Designer Series paper. It's so cute with the pop can um, and the embossing at the back. So, and the straw, of course, we can't forget the straw. So that's what we made last week. This week's card is gonna be really different. And that's why I do these lives where each week I show a different project using the same product of the month. So this month's product of the month for December is the Simply Sparkling. It's available on our online exclusive. So if you're wondering why you don't see it in the catalog, don't worry, it's not in the catalog, but you can still order it. It's one of the products that are just featured online on our online store. And it was uh, released relatively recently, I think in November. And uh, I thought it was cute, so I just wanted to play with it. Let me show you the dies that are in here. So that's what we're going to play with today, because pretty much we played with the stamps last week. And I want to give you a little bit of a different uh, look this week. That's the fun. That's the fun. Every week I like to show you something different. And um, I want to take advantage of these dies. So there are some really cool dies in here. Um, I don't know if you can see, but you can actually create your own pop can. You don't have to stamp the pop can. You can actually create it with the dies. Um, this is these really fun bubbles, but I'm going to use these fun little fruits here. I don't know. 
yeah, I guess they're fruits. <laughs> is lemon a fruit? I think it's still a fruit, even though it's sour and not sweet. Okay, these are the questions I ask myself. So you can tell me in the comments, um, is a lemon a fruit? It's not a vegetable. It must be a fruit. <laughs> okay, anyway, I am not a nutritionist, so I don't have the answers for you. But let's pull out the dyes that we're going to need. This is like a cute little peach. And then this is all the greenery that we're going to need. It's actually all attached on one die. So we'll need that. I'm going to take the little lemon. So yes, we have it on the stamp set where we could stamp it and die cut it out. But I'm actually using the dies to cut out the um, pieces. And let's get our cherries. Okay, so we've got a cherry, lemon, peach, and the greenery that we'll need. So let's put this away so we don't lose it. Okay, and let's do some die cutting. Oh, and if we want, I didn't do it for the make and take, sorry, but I thought about it after. What's kind of fun when you have smaller little pieces like this is that you can apply our adhesive sheets. How many of you, tell me in the comments, how many of you are a fan of the adhesive sheets? So... You can tell I like to use them, but I always forget. So, but I didn't forget today. So let's use them on our project today. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my paper snips and I'll snip the size of adhesive sheets that I want to use. And I think we'll use some sweet sorbet here. So we'll get a tiny piece of sweet sorbet just for our little cherry. Okay, so this is a great way to use your scraps because look how tiny that is. We will put an adhesive sheet on the back. Okay. And yeah, we'll stick that on. So the hardest part about using the adhesive sheet really is peeling off the backing. So Talk amongst yourselves while I, while I peel the backing off. Let's see. I'm sure there's easier ways to do it because I'm not someone that has nails, but I think we got it here. Maybe you can use your take your pick tool or something. Okay. So we peel off the backing. We stick it on here. Okay. And then we will... Put our little die on there and we'll do a little cutting here. Okay, and we're gonna roll and we'll cut that out. And this allows us with these tiny pieces to turn it into a sticker basically. So there's no fussy gluing at the back um, because we're, we have the adhesive sheet. Okay, so there's our little cherry. Let's pop out our little pieces. The key is not to lose them. Okay, and then let's apply adhesive sheet. Let's uh, do a daffodil delight. This is a great way to use the scrappies. So I'm just looking for a little piece of and we'll do our lemon here. So again, I'll just put a little piece of adhesive sheet on the back. Okay, so if you're planning out your free shipping order for Wednesday, or is it Thursday? Whatever the 14th is. Sorry, I'm losing track of the days. Are, do you guys lose track of the days when you get busy? Okay, I think it's Thursday. Okay, so then, um, Make sure to add on the adhesive sheets to your order because it does make die cutting little pieces a lot. It's not the die cutting it makes it easier, the adhering, the gluing of the adhesive, of the um, die cuts, it makes it a lot easier. Okay, so then we'll do that. Okay, I know. I like reading the comments, so don't be shy to comment at all. Okay. Okay, so now we've got our lemon and our peach. I think I'm going to do it in pumpkin pie. Um, although Calypso Coral actually would have been nice, but I like these bright colors. 
let's do pumpkin pie, which I rarely use at this time of year. Normally I use it more for Halloween-y things. Is that big enough? Yes, it is. We don't need the whole strip, so we'll just use a little bit. And again, take a piece of our adhesive sheet. Wish I could magically grow nails, but we just peel it off there. And you can see the adhesive is very sticky, so. Oops. Ah, you shouldn't touch it because then it gets all over your fingers. Super annoying. And then your fingers become sticky. Okay. It is very sticky. It's still on my fingers here. Whoops. Okay. I'll stick that through. Okay, where did I put my lemon dye? There we go. Okay, I should put them right back into my case because I don't want to lose the pieces. Okay. And then we're going to need our greenery. So let's use a cheerful color like Lemon Lime Twist. Get a little piece there and we'll die cut all our greenery. Oops. And even if the adhesive sheet doesn't cover the whole sheet of cardstock or every piece, it still just makes it easier for you to glue your pieces down because it'll just have adhesive on it already. I like to think that it's just basically turning it into a sticker. Okay, so it's turning your, your die cut piece into a sticker, which is fantastic. Okay. Pull that out. There we go. And that's so now these actually it's one die, but it's multiple pieces. Okay, so I don't think we're going to use all of them because. I think one of the greenery is for the um, strawberry, which we did not use. Okay, so let's look at these. Yeah, I think I got all the pieces here. Okay, so uh, this one here, let me hold it up. Can you see it? This one is for the cherry. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is for the cherry. See how that goes like that? and makes a cherry here. Okay, it'll be easier when I put it on the pieces. So let's let's put our dies away so we don't lose all our wonderful bits and bobs. Mm. <clears throat> this is for the peach and this is for the cherry. Okay, we don't wanna lose that. Okay, so I think we've done all the die cutting we need. Let's move our mini cut and emboss machine. Now, everything you see me using, in case it, it kind of goes without saying, but I've realized people don't always know. As a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I am able to sell all the products that you see me using. So all you have to do is head to my online store. You can find the link at Linktree slash Stampin' for fun. Um, or just go to stampinup.ca and make sure to choose me as your demonstrator. And you can purchase all the things I see here from you see here from the cardstock, from the take your pick tool to the cut and glass machine. So many beautiful things. OK, so um, what I'm going to use actually. If I can find it here. Oh, dear. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so for our card today, I'm actually doing something different. I'm using our basic white note cards. 
So the holidays are a busy time, or sometimes you just want to do something quick and easy. The basic note cards are perfect because they come with envelopes. You get 20 in a package. It's already cut. Um, it's a slightly smaller size than our regular um, cards. I'll show you the difference. I think it's about three and a half by five inches. Okay, it's already scored. Okay, and so that will be our card base today. And then I am going to take a little strip. Um, let's do a three quarter inch strip of sweet sorbet. Okay, so we'll cut it at, you know what, we'll cut it at, I think it's five inches. Whoops. Okay. And then we'll cut it at three quarters of an inch. Oh, it's not five inches. Hang on. Let's measure what this is. That should be five inches. I probably just didn't cut it properly. Five inches. There we go. Okay. And then um, we'll just put a little strip across our note card. So we'll do that. Let me get my seal adhesive. Stick that across. Oh my goodness. Our seal adhesive is so sticky and I just stuck my finger right in it. Okay. There we go. And then I want this card to be a bright card. So another great color. This is the sweet sorbet. Um, another great color is our azure afternoon. And I should have checked the measurement of it. But what I'm wanting is kind of a little panel across. Let me see whether I have the measurement there. Oh no, someone's texting me. That's like Murphy's Law. <laughs> as soon as I get on the live, then people want to talk to me. So I think I'm going to do it at three and three quarters by one and a half. Let's try that. Three and three quarters by one and a half. You're, I'll tell you what Kevin said when he saw this card. Anyway, the card is formed. Three and three quarters by one and a half. Okay. Okay, we'll put that around here. So this is just a colorful layer. Okay, I'm just putting it in the center and we'll get some basic white and we'll cut it a quarter of an inch smaller. So it'll be a three and a half by one and a quarter. Okay, so we'll stick that down. Okay, and then we're gonna put our little fruits across here. So Kevin, when he saw this card, he kind of giggled. He said, it looks like um, a Vegas slot machine, which was kind of the point, right? I could have done three cherries across. That's actually what I should have done, but I didn't think of that. So let's peel off the backing and put our little fruits down. So I don't know when you'd give someone a card about um, that reminds people of a Vegas slot machine, but I still think the colors are cute. And um, so I just used the pointy part to peel off the backing of the adhesive and we'll just stick that in the center. I'm not the best with visual perceptual skills here. So if it's not perfectly centered, I'm not gonna panic. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, it already looks totally off centered. But anyway, let's see whether I can move it a little more. Okay. And then let's do our cherries. This take your pick tool is so useful. I use it all the time. But the funny thing is I didn't use it till I left it on my table. When I kept it in my drawer, I kept forgetting to use it. Okay, 
Okay, so here we go. Okay, and then we will put our little pieces on. So this is, I think, for the peach, our little greenery. So see how the adhesive sheets make it so easy. I don't have to worry about fussy gluing these little, little bits on. So I am trying to tuck my little leaves underneath a bit. Okay, and so we've got our little lemon greenery. So I don't know which way we want to put this. Where does this go? Down here? I don't know. <laughs> I should have done the greenery first before I stuck these things down. Okay, so we'll kind of put our little greenery in there. Okay, the lemon looks a little weird. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But the card is handmade. Sorry, I'm mumbling to myself because I talk to myself when I craft. I don't even know. I'm not even talking to you guys. I'm talking to myself as I look at my project. Okay, but it's really great that they include the greenery with the dyes. So I just wanted to show you guys this bundle has a lot of versatility because it's not just stamps. It's not just dyes that cut out the stamped images. Included with the dyes are these other um, kind of bonus dies that allow you to kind of build different things. So it just gives you a different look. Okay, so let's see if we can peel off. There we go. Okay, note to the wise, it would have been wiser for me to put the greenery on first. Okay, but isn't that cute? Look at little die cut pieces and then we'll just use the stamp to stamp the sentiment. So we can just put, uh, like look, there's a cute little friend saying, let's put friend. And then this could be just a pick me up card you could send to anyone. Okay, so I'll grab this. Oh, all my blocks. We had stamp camp this past weekend for the team. And uh, so it's a stamp camp where we'll make 10 cards, new product. It was great. It was a team exclusive event. So that's one of the perks of being part of my team is that we have exclusive fun experiences. Okay, so let's, not all of them are in person. Some of them are online too. And there we go. Okay, so here's the original one that I made. Oh, it looks a little different. Every card I make is different. Oh, this one I added the Simply Sparkling at the top. But you could just have the friend like I do here. Tell me which one you like better. Do you like the extra Simply Sparkling? Do you like just the friend? And so that's why Kevin thought this was a cute card because he's kind of like, oh, it's like a Las Vegas slot machine. <laughs> So it's so fun to play and stamp. I hope that you take time to play and stamp as well, because uh, you can never um, have too much me time. I think in the rat race of this world, we all need to take a little time to get in touch with our creativity. Someone mentioned to me the other day, you know, during, during the time that we shall not discuss, where everybody was trapped in their house, what did people turn to during that time? Creative pursuits things like baking, things like scrapbooking, card making. And so why do we have to wait till there's like a global health crisis and, and people are dying before we um, do these things? I think, no, we should be doing them all the time because that's what helps to um, give that little special enjoyment in life. And I am thrilled to be able to be one of those people that gets to share with you. So go ahead, take out your supplies and play. If you don't have supplies, all you have to do is shop with me, get what you need. If you're not sure what to get, send me a private message. I am more than happy to just one-on-one -on -one sit with you and figure out what what you need because I know it's a little overwhelming to get started. Stampin' Up's been around for 35 years, which means they've developed quite a line of products. Um, 
And so I am happy to help you. Thanks for joining in this week. We will see you next week. Um, I'm actually going to be on vacation next week, but I'll try to make sure to uh, record a video for you. Okay. Have a great, 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 great day. And um, let me know in the comments uh, what you're up to and what your plans are as the holiday season approaches. We'll talk to you later. Bye.